you from their hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our Codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Pretty helpful creatures, calling them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now. When I merely needed to be sure, I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed to find alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I shall be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. All right. So what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There, we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Tesham Mutna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, Shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesham Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mutna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallon to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's... Spinning already, and you're... you're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me.
We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. You lead. Skurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. You 
can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. <laughs> 